28 days ago, Courtney and I started an eBay store from scratch. Our goal is to turn this side hustle into a $450 profit per week business so Courtney can quit her part-time job as a barista. If you're new to the series, I've set up a playlist for the first four episodes. You can find them on the home page of the YouTube channel or linked in the description below, and I recommend that you guys tune into those first. Today's video is gonna be a big one. We're gonna dive into Courtney's sales figures and have a bit of a look at her 28 days worth of selling on eBay, as well as her business expenses to give you a look at her overall net position. We're gonna go out and do some thrifting. Courtney needs another 10 listings, so we're gonna go out and try and find those. And then I wanna give you three things that actually Courtney's doing to hurt her eBay business. And it's a very common issue that a lot of people just starting out on eBay are doing. And I really wanted to talk to you guys. If you're beginning on eBay, this is something that you're gonna to wanna to avoid. So massive episode, let's dive into those sales figures and see how Courtney's doing. So here's a look at Courtney's first 28 days on eBay. She's been able to do $431 in total revenue. That's a total of 25 sales in 28 days. Her average sale price sits at $17.24 and we're trying to really grow that into a $20 to $30 average sale price. Uh, a lot of her items have sold via promoted listings. Almost half of her sales have been as a result of promoting at 3% and Courtney's been listing up three new listings every single day into her store and she's been trying to put in as much quality as possible. So it's really cool to see these results. Her, her third week selling on eBay was definitely her best. She was able to do $215 in that week, but the sales every single week has been pretty consistent. Six sales in her first week, then five, nine, and last week she had five sales for a total of $80. So 25 sales in 28 days, I think it's been a pretty decent start. It's obviously not the entire story though, because Courtney's got a lot of business related expenses that I want to show you guys here. Her inventory costs for all the items that she's bought to go on to sell cost her $262. Uh, her business related expenses to get herself up and running was 234. And then obviously you've got to take out fees and post. So she has spent $693 to set up this business over the last 28 days. And the revenue that she's brought in is $433. So Courtney's true business net position is actually negative $260. So that's a very important thing to document and highlight for you guys out there that it does slow, it, it takes a little bit basically to get yourself off the ground. Uh, and that's what we're trying to really document with this series. So what we'd love to do now is obviously get that into the positive and actually have Courtney profitable. Um, so we're gonna go out into the thrift store now and try and find some big ticket items that can go on a sell, add a bunch of profit in and get Courtney into the green. These would be worth looking into. The carry-on. The carry-on collection. And there looks like a couple of random ones there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Courtney, Courtney, that's amazing. Do you know how amazing that is? The rarest DVD. Oh yeah, you just did a video about I that. I just did a video about that. We just found it. Yeah, that's, what is it, volume one? Volume one. $1. That's worth like $30, $40. This one is like 20. What do you got there? But then this one, is 20 bucks. That's good. Bob's Burgers. Not great. Not great? Not great? Type, well. type, type it in. So this is one thing you want to do, guys. You don't just want to rely on the barcodes. Like, Courtney just searched the barcode. No luck. But she's about to type it in here. No luck. No luck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this one. Regular show? It's really type, good. No, no. Type it in. <laughs> type it in. Trust me on this one. This one, attacked in. Yeah. 20 bucks. Oh, what did I say, Courtney? I put it in. Never doubt. Just absolutely dominated this first store of the day. Six, seven. Eleven. Plus four. Eleven. Seven plus four, eleven. That's pretty good. Um, so you're on, you're on six listings and you've only spent eleven dollars. Yeah, I'd go sold 45 and then 12 to ship these in a medium satchel and then 15 to purchase. So you spend 15 to make 11. What do you reckon? Your call, Chief? No. It's a no. no. Maybe. Um, no. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. 
Yeah, I think 10 bucks or something, you'd probably do it. That's a Johnny Walker hat. Yeah, I'll probably leave it. Just spot all of these grassroots magazines from 1988. You got number 61, 60, 69, 68, and the comps on eBay for these were pretty good. You can get about a set of six done for about $40, and I've just found them out here in this chuck away tray. So I think we'd be able to get these for about a dollar each. Hey, Courtney, how's, how's your juice? I found these. So they're grassroots magazines and they go for about 40 bucks for a set of six. How and we got four. How much are they? Well, they'd be like maybe a dollar each probably out here. So four you probably get. You get 30 for four, I reckon. Yeah. And they'd go in a small satchel. They are. That's what I mean, like 1988. No more. Up to you if you want to do it, but I just saw them. Yeah. And there was like six or seven comps on eBay too. Yeah, how much are they? I mean, <laughs> I reckon, I reckon, honestly, I think it'd be four into 30. No more? See what they say. Confidence is key here. No way, Confidence is key, Courtney. <laughs> what do you got to say? <laughs> Nothing. Dude. That's pretty good. That's very good. There it is there. There it is there. So we've just found two very good book sets here. We've got Dan Brown. We actually found this in last week's episode. Courtney's just looking into it. This is the one that she was missing from last week, Digital Fortress. So she could just update her listing by buying this one book. That's exactly now, maybe it's more worth. 20, oh, oh, 29 oh, plus 15. So 30. I might just get some of these back All right, so we'll skip these. We'll leave them, but you'll buy that one. Yeah. But then I want you to look into this. This is Lee Child, one of the best authors that you can sell for books. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve. I'm going for hundred. Nine. Nine is going for eighty ninety. Six. But how do you know like ten sixty five? So it's all two dollars. I just, I've just sold this series really well. Well done, Courtney. Well done. So these, these are the best ones. Check this out. We've got two Iron Man hats. Um, Shannon next time. They've come up for just a dollar each, weren't they? Dollar. Yeah. This though, I'll put the comps up on screen for you. This is the grand final hat for Gabba. So this was only ever played at the Gabba once. It was only one year, and that's this hat. And it goes for, I think, about 50, 60, maybe $70. And that one's just a dollar. It's also New Era as well, which is something that you want to look for. And I've also got this, which is another New Era. This is a Brisbane Broncos. There's a New Era there. And this one's only $3. So, five, seven, <laughs> into about 120. Four. Hats. Courtney, look at this. Look at this. Not one, not two, three pairs of high-end. These are high-end Asics footy boots. And look at this, the best part. The best part, $8. So into what, 50, 60? I'm gonna say 60 each. Yeah. 60? How much in yeah, wow. 120? Oh, no, hold on. They oh, maybe pass on them. These, no, they're, not, they're fine, they're yeah, fine. Not these, no, you can get away with it. I'd say yes. And then yes. How much though? Um, the eight dollars. How much is that? One hundred twenty. I would list. What's this one like? Mm. See, these I'd probably say no, because mm. that's not good. Yeah, I'd say no to those, but these I would say yes to. Yeah. You'll get sixty on that, and you'll get sixty on this. So there's another. There's another hundred and twenty dollars. You got your, you got this, you got that, and now you got these. Successful. Goodness me. Morning, Forty-five dollars in the last stop of the day, and arguably the best stop of the day as well. With those footy boots to finish it off, the hats, all of these books, unbelievable finish. I think there'll be a big, big 
large amount of sales coming through for you next week. Super important part of the video now, guys. I really just wanted to dissect Courtney's store. She's got 69 items in there, so she's done fantastic to be consistent with three listings every single day. But there are three things that I reckon are hurting her when it comes to getting more sales. And I think it's really important for anyone out there that might be just starting out onto eBay because you're probably doing a few of these steps wrong yourself as well. So the first one that we're gonna have a look at is uh, just, the, the, first of all, the photography. It's, it's crucial, guys. You need to be getting really good photos. You only get one opportunity for a buyer to be interested in your item when they see that listing on the main landing page of eBay. And that comes down to that hero image, that first featured image that is showing off your item, as well as obviously a very strong title. Now there's some basic fundamentals. You just wanna be making sure that you're using up all of the real estate that's available for you. So um, a perfect example here, the regular show that she's obviously just purchased, um, that's in a really nice square shaped mode. But then if you have a look at the Hoka One Ones, um, that's in a square, uh, sorry, a rectangle mode with some gray space on the right hand side. She hasn't used up all of the real estate and that just comes down to her camera settings. If she was set on a one of one, a square mode feature on her mobile phone, a very simple step, it's a click of a button, um, she has much better visual photos um, once that's that once that's done. And eBay actually recommends obviously that you do that as well. So when we have a look at Courtney's store, it's a bit hit and miss. She's got some that have the rectangular shot that we don't like, and then she's got a lot as well that are sort of squared off. So I've sort of said to Courtney, make sure that when you get into your listing of, of taking your photography, um, make sure that obviously you're in square mode feature. So that was one step that sounds small, but it actually is a big, big difference um, visually when it comes to selling your items. Uh, the other one as well is obviously Courtney's been doing a lot of her pho uh, photography outside. She's been using the natural sunlight from a brightness aspect. She's obviously got the benefit of, of buying the core flute that we bought in episode one. Uh, but she is letting herself down with the big large shadows that I'm starting to see appear. And that's obviously, you know, dependent on what time of day that she's choosing to list up her items. But, you know, take three girls. I mean, this is a perfect example, just some significant shadowing there on the right hand side and above the book as well. Um, it's just not the best photo that she could take, but I can't really complain because I know her predicament and I know that she can't get any box lights into her listing setup uh, because she just has very limited space for it. But I recommend you guys out there, if you do have any space within your home to be able to buy the box lights that I've got here, um, you just can't go wrong with great photos when you use these box lights. It's the best purchase that I've ever made for my eBay store. I have them linked down in the description below. And if you can spare the hundred odd dollars that it costs to buy these things, uh, I think they're really gonna get their return when you go on to sell a few more items on eBay. So uh, unfortunately, Courtney doesn't have the opportunity to do that with her setup. Uh, but down the line, however she can do it, if she can improve the way her shadows are presented um, and maybe even potentially eliminate them altogether, um, that will really help her store, absolutely. But scrolling through her store, I can see there is quite a lot of shadows and I can even see when she's listing at nighttime as well. These shoes, no doubt, were shot during nighttime. They're a lot more dull, a lot more gray. Um, versus a, a brighter shot in the sunlight with, with, some, with some shadows. So it's a little bit tricky. I get it though, she's just starting out, but it's one thing that you'd wanna try to improve if you wanted to take things even more serious or even turn it into a full-time income. And then finally, the other one as well, is I noticed that she does only have the 69 items in her eBay store. Now, if she wants to be $450 in profit and quit her part-time job as a barista, she's just simply gotta be putting more volume into her eBay store, there's no doubt about it. Um, you know, I would, I would encourage her to try and get up to five listings and just see what the sales volume does uh, by going from three listings a day to five listings a day. And that's really the only, only way you're gonna work it out. You know, how many listings do you need to make $450? Well, it's all determined upon how many sales that you're getting come in. Um, consistency is obviously the most important thing, but setting that listing number and knowing actually what your goal is, knowing that Courtney wants $450 to quit her part-time job as a barista tells me that 69 listings active in 28 days on eBay is just not enough volume for her to be able to hit her personal goal. So what's your goal? How many listings do you need to do? And then how long do you need to be uh, consistent? Well, forever on eBay because eBay is a consistency beast. Um, but yeah, look, there are three things. It's definitely my bad um, for not maintaining a bit of an eye on Courtney's store as she's been going. Um, but I have mentioned all of these things to her and I think she's gonna start to make those adjustments uh, over the next few weeks. But overall, look, I'm absolutely stoked. She's been able to make a number of really great sales. Um, it is all heading in the right direction. And this is what this series is about. It's about doing the little tweaks and adjustments and educating you guys along the way so you can be doing the same little adjustments yourself um, that ultimately has quite a large impact on the volume of sales that you generate. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, fingers crossed, Courtney can make those changes and get a few more sales.
Make sure you subscribe to the channel though, guys. We've just done a massive private pick that's going to be coming out over the next couple of days on this channel. Uh, if you missed last week's episode of Starting eBay from Scratch, I'm going to leave the video for you right here. Appreciate you tuning into this one, guys. We'll see you soon.